Hi guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter and today I have a tutorial for you on how to archive old projects and footage. If you're like me, you need a ton of space as video editors and video production people. We're constantly needing more and more space and uh, if you're also like me, you have a RAID setup that you have all of your projects stored on. But over time, you can have a ton of backlogged old projects and that stuff really adds up. So it's great to have a system for getting those old projects off of your live RAID setup and then in some kind of stored solution. And I've come up with a system that's very affordable and seems to work really well for me. So I wanna share that with you today. So there's a couple things you're gonna need. You're gonna need hard drives. I use just straight up naked you know, SATA drives. And then you're gonna need a little adapter. This is a Seagate GoFlex desktop adapter. And the way they design this is they have these uh, hard drives that they make with a case. You can't remove the hard drive, it's all built in. And then they attach to this little adapter. But what I've found is you can actually take the adapter and attach it directly to the naked hard drive. And what's great is these things are pretty affordable. So I have one and it only cost me $60. So the other thing you're gonna need is some kind of stand for your hard drive because if you put the hard drive directly on this, it's gonna wobble around and possibly break the pins. So I actually attach this to the top of the hard drive. So for a stand, you could really use anything, but what I found to work really well, and again, is very affordable, is those little end attachments when you buy a hard drive. You know, these things are attached to either side in the box. So instead of throwing them away next time, hang on to a couple of these. And uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your naked hard drive, you can use really anything, old ones that you may have kicking around, or go out and buy a few new ones, and you're gonna stick it into the stand then you're going to attach the adapter to the top of the unit. And this particular one has a FireWire 800 connection. You're gonna hook it up to your computer. You're going to grab that old project that's completed and throw it on that drive. And I always like to have everything in at least two places, preferably three. So I would recommend you also put it on a second hard drive. Grab a cup of coffee. When it's all finished, remove the adapter, grab the hard drive. And what I like to do is stick it in a little case. Uh, you can buy sets of these cases on Amazon or eBay. And uh, they're fantastic because they're hard cases, they protect it, and you can put labels directly on the case. Then I take those hard drives and I have a fireproof case with some bubble wrap inside of it. And I like to stick the drives right in there and it's the perfect size. It can hold about 10 hard drives or more. And then that goes in a closet. So this is a great way to get all those old projects off of your computer or your RAID setup and backed up in a safe place. And that's gonna give you a lot more hard drive space getting all that old stuff out of there. If you ever need to use the project or edit something for a client, you just grab your adapter, grab your hard drive, hook it back up, do your editing, pack it all back up again and you're done. So this is a great solution that's not gonna cost you a lot of money to start archiving your old footage.